Albert Purcell is a beef and tillage farmer from Nina, County Tipperary, who, like many farmers, has struggled to make good quality silage on his farm. When Bill Ryan from Agritech met Albert, he identified some of the problems he was having with his silage. The first time I visited the farm, when we looked at uh, the pit of silage, what we found was that the pit face was basically unstable. First, there was a little bit of secondary heat, and so that was burning energy, and it was becoming slightly less palatable for the, for the cattle to eat. And the second thing was, was that just the quality of silage um, was a little bit below what they respected. And the rough rule of thumb we work off is that for every 3 DMD of silage quality, it's equivalent to a kilo of ration in animal performance. A lot of the pastures contoiled old grasses, which had a higher stem to leaf ratio. So the first step we made was that um, we started looking at grass quality that was coming in for silage. But the big thing then was to minimise the insilable losses. The standard on average for insiling will be that you try to have your losses something no more than 12%. Pit management, have your pits nice and clean before you start it, power wash them out, any cracks and leaks and anything like that, have them well sealed up. Then have your sheeting ready. Let your sheets down over the walls of the pit and then fill in your layers of silage nice and slowly into the pit, no more than 20 centimetres ideally, uh, and keep your chaplain fairly right. What, what we do then is that we look at the dry matter, so anything up to 30% dry matter, we use uh, sugar boost, and basically the reason we use sugar boost is that it contains a blend of bacteria that work over the pH range. So when grass comes in, as we know, it starts at six and a half. If you, if you don't put any additive on it, it takes three weeks for that to come down to a stable pH of four and we're looking for a high level of lactic acid. 